Regardless of your opinion about the extent of Michael's plastic surgery, one fact is clear. Martin Bashir's TV special made only passing reference to one of the most noticeable differences in Michael's appearance. Bashir quoted people as saying that when Michael Jackson was a boy, he was a black kid. And now as an adult, he looks like a white man. Which was a rumor. They said I was putting on cream to make myself lighter. That's not true. I have vitiligo. You have, now, you have a condition. Vitiligo is a medical condition that Jackson claims has afflicted him for more than 20 years. This disfiguring skin disease affects nearly 2% of the world's population and strips all pigmentation from the skin. The result is not just pale, but porcelain white. The beginnings of the vitiligo happen, help start happening relatively early. You know, he, he even was trying to hide it from me. He tried to hide it for quite a while. You know, he'd always try to cover with makeup and even add his skin tone and everything until it just got so extensive. I mean, it's all over his body. We were always trying to hide it and cover it for the longest time until he just had to tell Oprah and tell the world, listen, I'm, I'm not trying to be white. I have a skin disease. The loss of pigment exposes vitiligo sufferers to great risk of skin cancer, requiring constant shade from the sun and thick makeup or sunblock to lessen the exposure. You know, in the beginning, I tried to cover the light spots to the darkest part of the skin, but then it became so extensive that we had to go with the lighter part of the skin because his whole body was reacting. He'd have to be in complete, full body makeup every inch of his body. You know, so it was easier to make the transition to him being to the lighter shade that he is. But for Michael, one of the most painful side effects of vitiligo is the reminder of the earlier skin trauma that humiliated him as a child. You talked about how when you went through adolescence, yeah. you had a, a terrible time. Yeah. And in fact, I had a look at some pictures of mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. during that period. Mm -hmm. And you did have a lot of spots. Yeah. Yeah. And being shy as I, I am and was, then even worse than terrible. It was like a disease. Perhaps the most startling omission regarding Michael's history of plastic surgery came during a discussion of the procedures that Michael admits to having. You're saying you've only ever had one piece of surgery on your nose? Two. You've had two? As I can this is where the TV show stops. But had they included Michael's answer from just 10 seconds earlier, they would have allowed him to remind us of a serious injury that severely affected his appearance. No, no, no. I, I was severely burned. Yeah. But apart from having that surgery because of obviously the injury of the fire. January 27, 1984. Michael was shooting a commercial that attempted to duplicate a concert performance. During the last take, a planned pyrotechnic explosion went wrong and ignited Michael's hair on fire. He was so badly burnt on the top of the US whole hit the whole top of his head caught fire right in front of my eyes and I couldn't do anything about it I couldn't get to him on time but um, Nico Marlon Brando's son was able to push away the barricades and jump on him and put out the fire with his bare hands he will have nursing and medical personnel on call 24 hours a day. Due to his very excellent health and his very strong personal and religious commitments, he will have as excellent a recovery as is possible. Michael was rushed to the hospital, where he was treated for second and third degree burns. He later underwent skin graft surgery in an attempt to repair the damage. But as we noted, as severe as this incident was, it was completely ignored by Bashir. You done nothing to your cheeks? Uh, no, no, no. These cheekbones? Yeah. No. You haven't had any inserts? No. My father got... What, what, about, have what about your Indian, dimple? We have, can we get on this plastic surgery garbage? This is tabloid stuff. Well, you're beyond this. I know. You're respected Well, girls. I know. The problem you're is... tabloid.
of the basic qualities of respected journalism is objectivity. Now, as you may have heard in several recent news stories, one of Michael Jackson's prime complaints about the reporting featured in Martin Bashir's documentary and subsequent interviews with the press was his lack of objectivity. As we've already seen, some of Mr. Bashir's comments that made the air appear to be quite different than opinions he expressed in Jackson's behind-the-scenes footage. About Michael's ranch, Mr. Bashir's on-air comment was... One of the most disturbing things is the fact that a lot of disadvantaged children go to Neverland. It's a dangerous place for a vulnerable child to be. But what he said behind the scenes was this. I was here yesterday and I saw it. And it's nothing short of a spiritually kind thing. This comment about Michael's method of raising children was included on Bashir's special. They are restricted. They are overly protected. I was angry at the way his children were made to suffer. But this was not. Your relationship with your children is spectacular. Hello. <laughs> and in fact, it, it almost makes me weep when I see you with them. Another of Jackson's complaints about the documentary is the non-inclusion of certain statements that he feels are pertinent to objective reporting. Like when Bashir devoted almost eight minutes to the abuse by Michael's father? You remember when you said to me that you just wanted to run away from your father? I hid. I used to hide. Just... But did not include this short and revealing comment. He hurt me when he was little, but he's a genius. The man is a genius. On Michael's taking his children to the zoo, Bashir says it was no kind of trip for two young children, and everyone could see it but Jackson himself. But what you don't hear is Michael's response. I go to the zoo all the time and go, usually when they close it down. And they told us this would be closed down. And as far as probing for the truth about Michael's changing appearance, the subject of vitiligo was virtually ignored. And the severe burns and reconstructive surgery were never mentioned at all. Can we get all this plastic surgery garbage? This is tabloid stuff. Well, you'll be young.